matapos po ang ilang ulit na pagkakansila, matutuloy na rin po sa wakas ang ating groundbreaking ceremony para sa itatayong gusali ng UT College of Law dito sa Bonifacio Global City. Noong pong nagdaang biyernes ng gabi, labis-labis ang aking pangamba na hindi na naman matutuloy ang seremonya ngayong umaga dahil sa malakas na buhos ng ulan na para bang hindi titila ng isang linggo. Mukhang pinakinggan po ng langit ang ating mga dasal, kaya natuloy po ngayong umaga ang ating seremonya. Sa ating Panginoon, tayo po ay nagbibigay ng papuloy. Halos walong taon na ang nakalilipas nang ako po ay tumawag kay Atty. Arnel Casanova upang magtanong kung may puwang pa ang kalit sa pulo dito sa Fort Bonifacio. Noong panahon po na iyon, ako ay associate dean ni Dean Raul Pangalangan habang si Atty. Casanova po naman na aking dating estudyante ay Chief ng Legal Department ng BCBA. Kung hindi ako nakakamali, Arnel. <clears throat> Kung matatandaan mo, President Arnel, itong site din na ito ang sinabi mo sa akin na available para sa college of law sapagkat wala po yatang may gusto <laughs> sa site na ito. <laughs> at hindi po ito naka-earmark at the time para sa sino man maaaring gumamit nito. Makalipas ang walong taon, makakaroon na ng kaganapan ang isang pangarap namin sa UP College of Law. Dito sa Bonifacio Global City, magbubukas po tayo ng law classes na tuturuan ng mga batikang law alumni practitioners na nasa Makati ang mga opisina. Sa haba po kasi ng biyahe mula sa Makati papuntang Diliman, bihiran-bihiran na po tayong makakuha ng mga teachers mula sa mga law alumni practitioners natin sa Makati. Kaya naman po sila ay sa Rockwell na nagsisipagtuho. At kaya huwag kayong magtaka kung bakit mahuhusay na rin ngayon ang mga law graduates doon. At sa pagkat lumilipat na po dito sa Bonifacio Global City ang mga marami sa law offices, agaya po ng ACRA, nandito na po sila sa Global City, at ang Cardio Villarasa, nandito na rin po sila sa Global City, magiging higit na malapit na po sila dito sa ating bubuksang law school campus. Inaasahan po natin na sa halip na sa Rockwell sila magtuturo, dito na po sila sa ating campus sa Global City magtuturo at magsasanay ng ating mga law students. Dito rin po natin bubuksan sa Global City, sa gusaling itatayo natin, ang graduate program ng College of Law. Matagal pong panahon na itinigil namin ang aming graduate program, sabalit pag natapos po ang ating gusali, ay muli namin bubuksan ang aming graduate program. At sapagkat may pagmamalaki natin ang bagong campus na ito, Pinag-aaralan po natin na gawing international ang master's program o course offerings dito upang tumanggap tayo ng mga abogadong banyaga na magpapakadalubhasa dito. At upang mag-enroll at mag-aral po dito ang mga abogadong banyaga, hindi lamang po course offering ang gagawin natin international. Pati rin po ang graduate school faculty ay pagsisikapan natin maging international din po. Pukumbida po tayo ng mga banyagang dalubhasa sa international legal practice upang nagturo dito. At higit sa lahat, pinag-aaralan po natin na gawing International Commercial Arbitration Center ang campus na ito. Ang lahat po ng ito ay magaganap sa tulong at pagpupunyali ng ating mga law, law alumni na ngayon ay matataas na pinuno ng ating bansa. Lubos po ang aming pasasalamat kay Sen. Grelon kay Senator Angara, kay Senator Juan Ponce Enrile, kay BCDA Chairman Payumo at sa BCDA Board, kay BCDA President Arnel Casanova, kay UP President Alfredo Pascual at sa UP Board of Regents, kay Mayor Larry Caetano, at higit sa lahat kay Vice President Yeji Marbinay. Dapat madinig ito ni Vice President. At higit po sa lahat, Thank you.
Vice President Gordon Mardini na siya na magbibigay ng tulong upang ang gusaling ating itatayo ay magkaroon ng equipment, air conditioning, at furnishing. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Maraming salamat din, Danny Con. Uh, for a vote of remarks, I'd like to call on Honorable Maria Laini Lopez Caetano, Mayor of City. The Honorable Vice President, uh, Gentlemen Jojo Vinay, Senator Edgardo Angara, UP President Alfredo Pascual, BCDA Chairman Felicito Payumo, BCDA President Arnel Casanova, Congressman uh, Angara, ang aking pong kababayan, si Congressman Villa Puerte. Ako ho ay bikulada din katulad ho ni Congressman Villa Puerte. Attorney Gozon, officials of BCDA and officials of the University of the Philippines. Magandang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Allow me to start by saying thank you so much for choosing Taguig City as the home of the soon-to-be University of the Philippines Professional School. And having said that, allow me now to say welcome to the Provinciodad, ang uh, natatanging Provinciodad po ng Metro Manila, ang Provinciodad po ng Taguig. It is certainly an honor for us to be chosen home of the unrivaled top university in the country and among the best in the world. New team is and will always be close to the hearts of the Cayetanos. Para po sa kaalaman ninyo, aking mga binigilaw na kanuhin sa provinsyodad ng Taguig, ang aking pong father-in-law na si Senator Rene Compañero Cayetano, na dati ko pong boss sa Senado, ay uh, produkto po ng Universidad ng Pilipinas, ang UP College of Law. Ang aking na pong asawa na si Senator Alan, na constituent ko lang po dito sa Taguig, no? ay produkto din po ng Universidad ng Pilipinas. Gayon din po ang aking sister-in-law na si Senator Pia, kumpanyera kay Tano, ang aking pong brother-in-law na si Ren Ren at si Direklino Cayetano na siya naman po barangay captain ng barangay Fort Bonifacio ay kapwa po mga produkto ng Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ako po naman ay nagkaroon din ng pagkakataon noon ano, na makakuha ng uh, isang espesyal na kurso on innovative and developmental local governance and policy making for future local executives and legislators. Ito po ay special na kurso ang ibinibigay sa mga nangangarap maglingkod no sa mga lokal na pamahalaan. Balita ko ako o at ang unang-unang nakakuha ng kurso na yun dito sa University of the Philippines noong pong taong 2009. Another manifestation of how we have looked up to UP is the fact that my chief of staff, si Attorney Joel Montales Ho, pati ho yung aking uh, chief of staff na si Attorney Chichi Pomador, kapwa ho lahat yan, mga graduates ng UP, produkto po ng Universidad ng Pilipinas. Kaya po tama na sabihin ko na sa bawat matagumpay na programang inilulunsad ng tagi, malaki ang kontribusyon ng Universidad ng Pilipinas. Salamat po ng marami sa inyo. Two weeks ago, we presented to the OST Secretary Montejo some of the innovations that we are doing in Taguig, including our Taguig City Integrated Survey System, or uh, what we call the TCISS. Gayun din po naman yung aming pong Geographic Information System and Business Mapping. I was surprised that at the middle of the presentation, he said, with those innovations, Taguig is shaping up to be a smart city. With the UP Professional School here in Taguig, I am sure that the vision of making Taguig a truly smart city founded on global benchmarks will truly happen someday. I hope very soon. Dahil tutulungan kami ng Universidad ng Pilipinas. In closing, let me quote Psalm 31 verse 21 which says, Blessed be the Lord for He has showed His marvelous kindness in a strong city. I pray that the UP community will feel this kindness and will contribute in furthering its strength as a city. God bless UP. God bless Taguig. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.
Maraming salamat po, Mayor Cayetano. Ngayon naman po, we'd like to have message for, uh, from uh, Honorable Senator Eduardo Giangara, Chairperson of the UP Law Centennial Commission. President, the logical next president of the Philippines. Wow. The other president, President EP, President Pasquale, and the chairman, the Tom Fayuma, President the Arnel, and the Pangalan Toho. Nipa. Gio, I remember. Ito si Lani. Talagang UP Pratt, all the way, ang buong tagig. Ito si Louis Bidoferte, ito po, isang taon lang ako na ako na sa kanya. Pero pinakamaloko ko ito sa, sa Nara. Sa, sa Nara, yung, yung Nara, nawala na yung Nara eh. Si Nara. Si Dean si Alvaracino, ito isa pinakamagaling na, na nagdekano o ng business plan at ngayon yung member ng Board of Regents ang ating po ang mga kasamahan sa UP Centennial Commission. Yun ang Centennial 100 years so ng UP Scali Suklo, pakanakad na limit na ninyo. At yung ating po si Cesar Saloma. Ito ang talagang tunay na scientist ko. To raise that. So wala lamang ang scientist sa Pilipinas na may patent sa United States Patent Office at I will say something more about yeah. copyright and research about the Philippines. Si Dean Concepcion Ho. At kung wala ho itong ating kasama sa Centennial na ito, ay hindi ho makikita ng buong Pilipinas na tayo may groundbreaking dito. Si Henry Gosson Ho. At mga kasama ko po sa, sa University at nandun po si Dean Barrios na ng School of Statistics sa mga Squelhan uh, kasama ito ng uh, complex na ito. At ang ating hong uh, dalawang uh, architect, si Architect Casas at saka si Architect Global Ang flagship program natin noon na napag-usapan ay eh magkaroon ng isang campus outside Kinimana. Piniliwanag na ho ni Team Concepcion kung bakit. Pag ang konsepto ho noon ay hindi isang traditional old style, old school, professional campus. Ito ho sana eh, we're envisioning it to be a professional school that will produce high-level graduate, uh, graduate students. High-level ho, so pagkat may graduate school after graduate school, but sa Pilipinas ho, ang, ang tunay na graduate school or research, uh, research students is a vanishing and endangered species. Kaya naman, sa University League ng, ng buong mundo, pababa ho tayong pababa, katulit ng competitive na status ng ating mga bansa, pababa ng pababa. At in the case of university, that is the heart of a university research and development and graduate, uh, graduate school. Kaya ito, ang vision mo sana natin ito, ay maging outstanding graduate and research professional school dito sa Pilipinas. Sapagkat dati ho, yung uh, yan title na yan ay hinahawakan ng Pilipinas. Ngayon, naagaw na sa atin yan. 
Ang outstanding research institutions ngayon sa Asia ay Singapore. Singapore at Korea. Well, Japan has been there all the, all the system. Yan. But sa mga panibago hong mga universidad at mga bansa, Singapore and Korea are now leading the R&D and graduate <coughs> education in Asia. And as you know, Asia, the progress and prosperity of the world are slowly moving to Asia from the West. But by in 14 years' time, or in less than 10 years' time, ang global output o ang global GDP ay mas malaki po ang ipuproduce ng Asia than in Europe. At in 2050, 54% of global output ay manggagaling sa Asia, hindi na sa Amerika, sa Europa, o sa Japan, kundi dito po sa atin. Bakit po? Because Asia is very well known for investing in R&D. Per capita, ang investment po ng Asia, ng China, India, Japan, Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, per head, per capita, sa research and development is napakataas. And that's why they, we are leading the innovation index in the whole world. Ayun, alam mo ng mga scientists yan. Samantala ng Pilipinas, o sa innovation index, pabagsak ng pabagsak, sapagkat nagkukulang mo tayo ng investment in R&D in doing innovative research. Kaya ito po, isang symbol mo ito, ng revival and renaissance of the Philippines as the research center sana. Tayo ho, we pioneered in business management, AIM, di ba? Tayo, leading tayo yan. Yung mga Indians, mga Malaysian, Indonesian, even Singaporeans, failure to study business management. O ano ho nangyari ngayon sa AIM? Wala na. Kasi ho, they stopped doing research. Nag-squabble, the faculty got into squabbling, the, the non-faculty got into labor strife. Yan ho ang mangyayari. Yan yan ang nangyayari. UP still remains, well, top 500 ng universidad. But, oh, yan ho ay slowly we are going down the ladder unless we recapture that, that, uh, that lead natin. Because we have so much capable people and we have so many people who have graduated from the best universities of the world, and yet when they come back, there is no opportunity to do research in the rigorous, in the tough regimen of a true research. So, yan ho ang sanang mangyari dito. At ito ang campus nito, sabi nga ni Nidin, that's been the conception of the Senate. Kenya Commission will become an international campus. Among many countries in Asia, tayo ho lang ang may blinder. As far as foreign teachers and foreign students are concerned. Even uh, educational institution, tayo ho lang ang sarado ang pagpasok ng mga napakagaling ng mga universitas sa ating campus whether in terms of teachers, students and investments of educational institutions. Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, and dyan na ho ang lahat ng pinakamagagaling ng universal sa buong mundo. Their presence of that Filipinas is the only exception when we are conspicuous in the absence of outstanding teachers and universities of the world in our, in our soil. So, yan sana, yan sana, and we take the lead again, we pioneer again, and we start opening up our arms and the possible our pockets to getting the best in every field, in law, in management, business management, in engineering, like one of the best engineering schools in the, in the nation, in statistics. Architecture. Yeah, 
That's the substance or that's the body of what we want this campus to be. Ano naman ang forma? Dennis Pina, pakita mo nga yung form natin, yung architectural form. Sana naman ito ay maging iconic building. I have to emphasize that. Ay, yun pala. Yan o. Yan o. Yan po ay memorable, memorable icon masasabi mo na pag nakita mo yan, yan ang pinakamagaling na campus sa buong Pilipinas. Siguro no, ano? <laughs> Ayan ho, pinapropaganda natin sapagat hindi pa mo tapos ang fundraising natin. Some of, the, some of the sections have not been funded yet. So we have to sell it and say that this is going to be an iconic building, memorable, and enjoying the road. Facade the road. Nothing you do with facade. Sinong mag-o-offer na to spend for the facade? Wala na ang ganun. But anyway, yun ho ang trust natin. Ngayon, sabi ho ni Frank Drillon, ay may division of labor. Sabi, sabi ho ni Frank, o sige, Ed, ako na ang bahala sa location, sa site at ikaw ang bahala sa building. O, yan ang division of labor. Ayan, tuloy na. Frank, talk immediately to his party mate, si Tom Fayumo, at saka ang presidente natin sa Arnel. Kaya naman, ang bilis ang heat of the nation nitong half a hectare of Frank ba ito? Frank? Ang description of it, Frank? Frank! Ang sabi ko naman, Pwede mo i-expropriate yung natin kung next door nito, napakasakang You must pay in some money to most of all. You give professional institutions. C5 government. So yan ho ang ating mga... At mga... Yung mga alumni ng UP Law, yan sila ang they carry on the burden of fundraising for this building. At yung mga free riders ho, ay yung business ad ay sa Pilipinari School of Statistics Open University at Architecture No, we are not going to allow you to be right We are going to talk to the teams and the alumni president and the alumni president of the Statistics here Mark Albarzin an outstanding team of business and an outstanding alumnus of engineering that just volunteered to fundraise among engineers and and VA. Two, two schools who have produced some of the richest people in this country. You know, engineering and business. Of course, the car is at all. Now and then, in there. Now and then, he produces Taipan's night handlist. They have to go Few and far between, yeah. Business, Engineering, lalo na engineering. Give me the 10 top contractors in this country and we are UP engineering. So, yun sana. Lalapitan mo natin yun yan. Tingnan din natin. You spend the money even for your latrine, for your toilet, for your air, for your stairs. Yan ang gagawin natin. 
Paranormal, this is really a cooperative joint undertaking. My sense of belonging, my sense of ownership of all of us. So, you know, ang, ang report, anyway, my report as chair of the UP Law Center. At the uh, palagay ko, itong building na ito ay matatapos kung maumpisan natin ngayon. Maraming po salamat at salamat. Maraming salamat po, Senator Andrada. Uh, we will move on to the eternal grand groundbreaking ceremony. Uh, instead of going down, our guests of honor will just move forward for the uh, for the picture taking. And then at the same time, so we'd like them to stand up and just come forward. And then we would like them to be joined uh, by, uh, in the foreground, by the members of the BCDA board. They've been very helpful in, in this regard. And also officials from the uh, different uh, units of the University of the Philippines to be in the foreground, especially the deans and the chancellors involved with, with, the, with the Open University, uh, beginning with uh, Dean Danny Concepcion, uh, Chancellor uh, G.G. Alfonso, uh, our Vice President, led by uh, VP Giselle Concepcion, and uh, VP Noy Amante, uh, former VP, I mean, sorry, so VP Elvis Zamora has been working very hard for this. I uh, would also like uh, uh, the Statistics Dean, uh, uh, Dean Barrios, Please join us in the foreground. Everything Danny and uh, representing the university and our architect. And the, the former VBR in Saito has been uh, in this project when I started. Join us in the foreground, please.
understandable because the first phase of this uh, very important project will be the UP College of Law. Yay! The others are waiting on the wings. And uh, as uh, Senator Angada has said, you know, you have to do your part in fundraising. The new campus we are establishing here will bring UP to the Bonifacio Global City a choice business location, I would say, in Metro Manila these days, and a center of innovation and growth. The UP professional schools, which UP College of Law will be a part in this campus, will make it easy for those living and or working in and around this area, the big city and Makati city, to pursue high quality professional degrees in law, business engineering, and statistics from UP, a university that is committed to shaping minds that shape the nation. The UP Professional Schools Campus in Tagim will demonstrate how the academe, the government, 
and the business community can work together in a productive partnership, pooling resources to build an enduring institution of higher learning with an iconic building that we anticipate to see that will serve the needs of its stakeholders. The corporate sector, as has been emphasized already, in particular will benefit from the supply of experts that our graduate courses will produce. And more of the aspiring graduate students and executives in Taguig, Makati, and surrounding areas will enjoy the opportunity of studying in UP professional courses given easier access to this school. Our UP Open University will also use this campus as a learning center and a staging ground for a range of graduate courses online. At this point, let me extend our thanks to Senator Angara, Chair of the UP Law Centennial Commission, to Senator Franklin Villon, Chair of the Senate Committee on Finance, and uh, Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile for their unwavering support for this project and of course UP in general. I also express our gratitude to BCBA, its board and officials led by Chairman Tito Payumo and President Arnel Casanova for their generous donation of the campus site. Thank you too for raising this occasion, Vice President uh, Binay, and for welcoming us here, uh, Mayor Lani. Uh, Not to be forgotten, of course, are our colleagues from UP, who have worked and are working hard to make this campus a reality. Let me assure all our supporters that we in UP are fully committed to this project, which will be an integral component of our one university, one UP. The presence of UP here in the Bonifacio Global City will enable us to advance further UP's mandate to take a leadership role in higher education and national development. It will help us realize our vision of UP as a great university in the 21st century. Adayon UP, onward UP, Maraming salamat po. Thanks very much, President Pascual. And now I'd like to call again President Pascual to formally introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, Honorable Dejumar C. Senior citizen. <laughs> uh, kayo ho ay eh, naghanap ng uh, magiging chairman ng fundraising. Eh, huwag niyong kakalimutan si Senator Angara. <laughs> Kaya lang, eh, kinagamit ng salita, tunos. Ang totono ni mga pusang loob na pinilit ko na. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. Uh, President Alfred Da Pascual of the University of the Philippines, and Tomagala, Chairman of the UP, Los Centennial Commission, Honorable Mayor Lani Lopez Caetano, Siget Tadig. Uh, sana napakinggan niyo yung line of dynasty ho dito sa Tadig. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> kami rin ho, meron din kami dynasty. <laughs> Yan ang kinatatakot ko, mukhang dun ho yata pumupunta yung mag-graduate sa UP. <laughs> Nagiging Master of Syndicated Politics. <laughs> Congressman uh, Sani Angara, isa pa rin to. <laughs> Meron kayo na Flora Angara, huwag niyong kakalimutan. Beauty College of Blue. Uh, Joseph Magandang Dereon, of the Court of Appeals. Uh, Professor Lalo Sela Beba, former UP President. Yeah, I'm 
president and CEO. Ano mo yun ito? President Anto. Graduate din mo ito ng UP. Yung mga mahilig magsusulat ng mga pinanggalingan at kung saan nagtapos, pwede po ninyong isama itong uh, presidente ng BCG. Ay talaga po ito is ang aral mula sa hirap hanggang sa maging presidente po ng BCG. At ito ay ang rato ko na rinig na for a time. Yung trabaho po ito, winter ng Chowkin. Oh, Jollibee. Ay, baka mabawasan ang bibigyan ng Chowkin. Ito yung mga gito. Malis na si Tony Pugito y Gawson. Isa pa rin kong nangyari pa nung yun. Pinakamalaking mag-tunit. Kaya lang lagi lang inyong papanggitin yung kanyang donation. Dean Danilo Concepcion, UP College of Law. Ang pagkakalam ko yung dean, hindi ko bumibitaw sa akadim. Pero ang dating ni dean, mukhang nasa showbiznis na ko rin. Pinanood kong maigit na gabi ito eh. At ang aga pa, sipsip na kagal sa ato. Malayo-layo pa. UP Professional School Officials and Staff, UP College of Law Officials and Staff, Fellow Public Servants, Friends of Media, Ladies and Gentlemen, and the Democratic Senate. I want to thank UP President Fred Squad for asking me to join all of you this morning. And I want to thank first of all the men and women who first dreamed of this particular idea and then all those who have come together to make this dream a reality. I hope you won't mind if I single out the basis of version and development of all. As represented here by BCDA President and CEO Arnel Casanova, to represent the donor institutions and partners in development whom I find too numerous to name just now. Thank you for making this project truly your own. Ang pakiusap ko lang ako sa gagawa ng itong ating building kasi ako ko mismo ay nagkaroon sa karasan. Nagturo ko ako sa isang eskwela ng classroom ko nandun sa tabi ng Top Avenue. <laughs> Hindi ko kami magkaringgan. Kaya hindi ko maalaman kung paano naging prime itong lugar na ito. Kaya hindi ko hindi maalaman kung sino siya nagsadya nito. Kaya hindi kami niyang prime. Si Ipay, pampalamo ito. Ngayon pa lang yan. Kaya siguro in 2 to 3 years, baka ang traffic niya isang kilometro na. So siguro yung sound ko natin. Kaya lang yan, maganda rin ganda. Thank you. And just to give the best for us, I should like uh, to thank and commend our dear friends, Senators Johnny uh, uh, Ponce and Rile, Frank Pilon, and Ed Angara, who will never allow themselves to be outdone when it comes to any project involving the University of the Philippines. I am told it took seven years for this project to come to Global City. Nagal? Hindi pa pasasami sa mga ating dumdumdum. Sa totoo lang, for a time, hindi sip ng UP na mag-apunta muna sa University of Makati. Eh, sa UP, nakikipag-usap sa amin. Yung muna, nakikipag-usap na rin sa BCPA. Kaya ko yung aming trabaho, pinakahanda-handa sa amin kasi isang karangalan na sana laro na yun ay yupi sa Makati ay wala, naging yupi sa Tagi and so depending on how long the actual construction will take and I suppose depending on the contributions of the other colleges that will be part of this ito ang kinatatakot kung hindi ka nag-uulit isa kung kaya ka magkakaroon na ng squabble kung sino magbabalit sa latrin at kung ano ka sa mga We shall soon have in the heart of this great metropolis a new UP campus sparkling with modern structures dedicated solely to postgraduate professional studies. This is something that makes every UP alumnus stand a little taller and more upright, even those who share my physical size and height. My natural presence, I like to say, 
Linggung aking mga kasing tanda, kasing kas, baka ganito ho ang panahon, ay marami pa akong magiging kasing, kasing itin. Ay, init ho talaga. Buti na lang, hindi ho nag-Amerika na si Ed. But speaking as chairman of the UP Law Centennial Board of Advisors, this is something that fills me with great optimism, confidence, and hope that in the not too distant future, when we speak of great scholars of the law, we would be speaking no longer of erudite men and women who had gone to Yale or Harvard or some distinguished graduate school abroad. Bago kayong mag-abogado, upo muna kayo ng eksamen sa bar, eh mukhang hindi nakasama sa research dahil sa eksamen matching type. Nakatakos sa matching type, wala nang pag-asa UP. Magaling lang ng UP sa NCA siguro. We will be speaking rather of distinguished scholars who have found their legal expertise in our UP graduate school of law in global city. As we brace for the future, we must brace for greater, if not indeed the greatest competition among nations and individuals for the most vital of all human and material resources. I refer to the ultimate resource called knowledge. For the first time in human history, we have arrived at a universal consensus that knowledge is indeed mankind's primary and ultimate resource. But knowledge has to be consciously and artfully cultivated, and the best place for that is the university at its finest. University is the best place where the best minds can advance best, because it is the place where they can best interact freely and vigorously with other minds, both among the living and among the living. As the first president of Johns Hopkins University, Professor Daniel Hillman said at the 250th anniversary of Harvard University in 1886, if the experience of the world is worth anything, it can nowhere be so effectively and easily acquired as in the faculties of a well-organized university where each particular study is defined and illuminated by the steady light which comes from collateral pursuits and from the bright suggestions of learned and gifted teachers." Unquote. But in speaking of what I hope this new UP campus can accomplish, I hope no one among us will want to suggest that UP Taguig or UP Global City will simply add to the number of university campuses in the Philippines. I would ask all of us to make sure that this new campus will add strength, the greatest strength if possible, to our universities and to the way our society values, uses, and reproduces knowledge. I would further ask all of us here, as well as our friends who are not here now, to make sure that such strength or the development of such strength is supported adequately with all the resources within our reach. If this campus is to become an ideal place for higher learning, a great engine for scientific and scholarly research, and an immutable retreat for learning the tissue and repose, we must make sure it has enough funds. That's where Senator Angelo was there to come in. It has enough funds to support its scholars, thinkers, philosophers, and researchers who, in the words of Professor Hillman again, are numerous enough, learned enough, and wise enough to be felt among the powers of the age. In a country like our own, a great part of this funds will come not as a gift of personal or corporate philanthropy from a single source. A great part will come from the many sources in response to our dedicated effort individually and collectively to find generous donors like the BCDA to make sizable, self-renewing, and long-term endowments. But whatever it is we can do, 
It would be a singular triumph of this project if right here and now we could all commit to do our individual share to work towards that common objective. Kaya ba, Senator Agara, siguro bago tayo magtapos, parang kilahin mo dyan, eh, kapirmayin mo kagad ng pledges. Pledges na naman. <laughs> eh, para magkatotoo, ang pinapangarap na natin, pitong taon lang na sayang, baka pitong taon pa ang ating aantayin. Eh, napakatagal na naman. Maraming salamat po. Uh, on behalf of the University of the Philippines, we would like to thank you all for, for facing this morning's uh, groundbreaking ceremony. Maboy po ang Universidad ng Pilipinas. Maboy po ang Pilipinas. Apo, uh, at ngayon naman po, dahil tapos ng programa, bago po tayo kumain, meron po tayong class picture ng ating mga special guests.